Welcome to Lapupata from SOL, the virtual labs. Tensile test on mild steel. The objective of this simulation is to study the mechanical properties of mild steel specimen under tension load. The setup used for this simulation is shown here. Throughout this simulation, to go to next steps, please click on this arrow below. Click on the vernier caliper scale to measure the diameter of this specimen. The diameter is measured in two di perpendicular directions. This is the second direction and the average initial diameter is formed. Click on the scale to measure the length of the specimen between the grips. Click on the hammer to make the punch marks at a distance of 2.5 feet. So the total uh, distance is 31.75. Click on the rotating lever uh, to lower the machine bottom part. Now drag the specimen and place it in its position. Now click on this lever once again to adjust the height. Then the dial gauge is mounted here. Now click on the adjusting knobs of extensibility to adjust the radius to zero. Switch on the uh, machine and start the loading process. The readings of the extensometer is noted as well as the ivory scaling readings are noted. Once the uh, load is up to the yield point, we can uh, stop the machine. The data can be downloaded by clicking here. Here we can view the load versus ivory scale reading graph. When we scroll the mouse pointer into the graph, uh, the value can be seen clearly. We click on the view data to view the data of the graph. This graph depicts the load versus extensometer reading. And if we want to uh, view the slope of slope drawn, click on the view slope. Now we can go back to viewing the graph by clicking on view graph. Click, he click here to join two pieces of the test sample. Click on vernier scale to measure the change in the diameter at the neck of the specimen. Click on the vernier scale to measure the final length between three punch marks. The yield stress, uh, tensile strength, modulus of elasticity can be found. Percentage elongation and percentage reduction in area also can be found. So enter the uh, va values. Once you enter the values, click on the check to view the actual results. This column shows the actual value, the entered value and the percentage error in, the, in these both. 